Hello, and welcome back to What Would Zig Do Gaming? I'm Zig, and here we are with XCOM 2. So, the campaign continues to move forward. We are I prepping. Hand it to him. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. We are preparing to take on the Advent Black Site, which is a story-based mission. Uh, usually a little bit more difficult than everything else that we've been doing at the time, so... We're going to see what happens there. Uh, we're going to have Gauss weapons soon. I would rather go in with a fully prepared squad, so we might delay it a little bit longer, but we have to start moving. We do have to start moving because the Advent Project is trucking right along. So, uh, where were we? I think we were gathering intel at base, and then we got distracted, and then... Yeah, so we're going to go grab some more intel over here because we are low. And I believe one of the dark events coming up is they are going to double all intel costs from making contact with areas. So that's about to be a real pain in the ass. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I am at Instant, a loss so let's do that. To describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. Oh, quit your belly aching, Tigan. Go eat one of your advent burgers. The aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? All right. My past surgical experience is limited. I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen Advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common Advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. While most of my involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side, I can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. When intently focused on a singular aspect of a project, in my case, countering the body's rejection of the implanted chip, sometimes it's easy to avoid seeing the bigger picture. To this day, I still ask myself whether it was willful ignorance or unbridled curiosity that led me to blindly pursue my research with such zeal. We have a new specialist. Okay. Let's go train another soldier. We've got so many of them trained now, now I'm just going to start training everybody what I want them to be. Uh, let's see here, who's left? A lot of them I don't have a preference actually. find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Battle scanner. Despite a thorough analysis, I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent hybrid soldiers' enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion error reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Silence. 
now operational. Okay. The very first one that will be trained is Lance. And Richard Gibney is going to be in here supervising and increasing the training time, or shortening the training time, rather. Oh, wait. Hello, Commander. Got to do this. Shit. Okay, let's go. Seems to have a habit of scratching that scar on the back of his head. I wonder if anyone made sure his chip was actually removed. So, 150 each. Is that it? Do Commander? I have enough of everything else? Uh, 10 alloys and 10 alloys. Okay, I barely have that. Ooh, the shard gun. Damn it. Well, I haven't been using any shotgun troopers recently, so I can handle not having them for a little while. Let's run to the black mark. Well, get that. I think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. These robotic units, developed by Advent, seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Okay. Let's go to the black market. Oh. Hang alongside an overgrown pasture but strewn with corpses of several alien species. Bodies are deeply decayed, but still hold scientific value. Not wasting an opportunity to examine the xenobiology for weaknesses, a team brought the corpses on board for Dr. Tygen to study. Let's run to the black market. Let's see if I can find room for a hundred and six supply. Oh, there we go. So I can get my Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. So All right. Oh, right, because this takes a scientist now and not and not an engineer. So we have an engineer that could be doing things. Mom, you can go. There's only two days left there. So we'll have her start here. Wow, I just realized that actually that's going to be a little bit wasted because... Or ra rather, that's where I wanted to put my workshop, but these require scientists now. Hmm, interesting. All new ways to fuck myself. Gotta get used to those mods. They make the game a lot more interesting, that's for sure. Okay, so... 
Lance will be ready in five days. Let's see here. That case, we have 133 Intel. All Intel costs are increased by 100% for a month. You know what? While that's not happening then, let's go do this first contact here. And then we can work on getting to this one. Nice. Okay, so... That means that I can put my new power coil there. I'll have to move that down. So many things to do, so little time. Let's clear this out first. Nice. I, I really need this, actually. Operation Cryptic Art. Okay. So we'll do this one, this video. Next video will be... I'll have a new Scion ready to go, and then we'll take on the Black Sight. And we will be ready to go. Loud and hard. Alright. Jay. Oh yeah, see, I, uh, I just got a new, uh, thing that I can change the flag, so now I don't have to worry about their nationalities. Um, everybody just has a Chaos symbol from Warhammer, because that's awesome. Yeah, check out those new guns. Bring the Ice Queen this time. These missions usually tend to be a little bit more difficult. And Ian... Let's see here... Okay. I think I need to customize the weapons again, don't I? Yep. Gubbins. Your weapon renamed itself too. Yours was just white. And it had the tundra thing. And your pistol was named Envy. I don't like how I have to do this whenever you get... I mean, it's still the same weapon, obviously, because it has the same upgrades on it. And yours was colored Freedom Blue. Actually... Named after your first mission with XCOM, it will be Gatecrasher. And then...
Yours was... I think yours was white. No, it was like a ice blue. So it was like that slate color. And the name of it was... I don't remember the name of it, but since you are the Ice Queen, it will be... Cold Demise. Oh, that one kept its name though, that's good. Uh, Milo... I didn't get anything different with yours. Why did all of this reset? I wonder if it had something to do with me changing everybody's flag. Which would be weird, but, well, at least R2D Shore is still there. Name was... Cregan, and it was black. Okay, so... I don't know why I had to go through and do all of that, but... I have a laser sight. I don't have anybody that needs that just yet. All right, we're ready to go now. Let's go get some supplies because we are desperately in. Oop, not yet. Make utility available. There's that. There's that. So you need a grenade. I think everybody else is covered. Yes? Okay. Lots of grenades. Grenades for days. Pretty soon I'm going to start building some other things and then things will get really interesting because I can carry all these really cool items. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Transmission from a disabled Advent troop transport that the resistance locked down in this area. The aliens haven't managed to get this thing moving, so we're going in to try and seize whatever materials we can from it. They won't be happy to see us. Eliminate Ooh, what's going on here? And secure the area. Interesting. Okay, so with all my grenades, I need to watch out and make sure I don't blow up the supplies. Alright, ready to drop. Let's go. Let's do this. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Hey, map extends pretty much all around me, so we're gonna go up here. Now we're getting somewhere. Moving on target location. Para пробежаться. That's a building. This is a supply run, though, so where are the supplies going to be? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, Jay needs a good spot. We'll go right here. Moving out. Looks like a good, like go! a good place for them. And Gubbins can come right here. Copy. Moving on target. And since we don't have a time limit, we might as well just... Everybody overwatch. Okay, the Owen Herjarn will scout in this direction. Hell yes! 
while the Ice Queen scouts in this direction. Nothing. That is a tiny building, too. That's definitely not where the supplies are. Well, we can get all the way up there. Jane's gonna rush up there. Overwatch, or long watch, rather. Ian will come up here. Milo will come up here. Right. And Gubbins will be right behind. All right, let's scout to the right here first. We're coming. We're coming. Seriously. Seriously? Where the fuck is everybody? Heading out. Huh. Scanning. This is really interesting. Well, long watch. Uh, Ian, run up here. This is peculiar. I don't trust it one bit. Oh, I've seen this building before, I think. There they are. Ooh, shield bearer. Okay, so I finally found them at least. Took long enough. Okay. Ice Queen can come over here. Turret. Okay, so I know how we're going to do this. It's going to take a few turns to set up, but Roger it'll up. be worth it. Getting it done. Yeah, I can go there. Stupid glitch. Time to show you how much stamina I got. <laughs> Stamina. Okay, right here. She's in. All right. That is kind of a scary squad, because this dude, if he is allowed to make everything more difficult to kill, is going to be a real pain in the ass. Alright. Peekaboo! I don't think he can get to that level. No. That level from over there, so... Gubbins is going to jump up. That looks like a good place for Jane. Location confirmed. You're good right there. Jay is going to come over here. Moving out. You're going to stay right there. Ian. I'd rather you be in high cover. You will stay right there. You're gonna stay right there. And... Huh, what's... Oh, the door. Okay. Ah, uh, but that's hard. 
All right, how are they patrolling? So they're probably gonna start moving back to the left as once they reach over here. Yeah, so next turn I think they'll patrol back left. Means Gubbins is gonna get right here. Let's do this. Jay is gonna run up here. Moving out. That'll probably be good enough for him for now. How are our hacks looking? Taking control. What have we got here? Probably want to do the disable function this time. And Milo, how's that looking for the turret? So that's a so that's a heavy turret, which means I think that's the Mark II turret, which means it'll be more difficult to hack. Yeah, four four points of armor. My God. Yeah, 55% chance to even... Okay, so... Not great. But the good news is I can take him out easy if I need to. Because all I need to do is launch a grenade up there and drop him. Okay. Oh, I've got shots. I don't need to move. Okay. Why is it 36%? You're out in the middle of nowhere. Is my aim really that bad? I'll have to check his stats when I get back. It's 35. I wonder if the penalties from Red Fog didn't... Because I don't think his aim is that bad. That seems really low. Okay, so... I think everybody's in the positions that I want them in. Yeah, so we're going to overwatch all this turn. And next turn, we'll get things started. Oh, no, they're still going to the right. Interesting. Huh. We're going to overwatch all one more turn and see if they come back. That's a that's not great positioning here. I'd like them to There we go. Okay. That's better. So, now we can uh, get ready to go. Ooh. Ooh. I can't start that with anybody else but a grenadier. So, I think the Ice Queen should start it. Jane Kelly will Overwatch, Overwatch. and so will Gubbins, I'm on it. so will Jay. Scum. You're going to hold off because I might end up using you for something else, and you're going to hold off because I might try to hack the turret. Alright, so... Oh shit, I didn't get him. There had better be something good for all this waiting. Alright. Well, I'm not getting one of them, but Well. Can I jump out here? Yeah, here we go. Isn't I can do this. Ooh. That's gonna be rough. No. All right, so this is going to get messy real quick. Stop it! Nazri. 
real quick. Contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. It's really tough. Oh, come on. Nice shot. Oh, come on, everybody. Well, at least the mech is down. It's still moving. Wow, that is not ideal at all. That's actually really bad. Oh boy. You have a better chance of doing that. I kind of need to go for it. Yes! Go, Ian. Okay, I really needed that. That'll distract them at least. That'll give me two or three turns of that. So, now then. Hello! Oh! Oh! That looked like it hurt! Oh my god, that was pretty. Fuck you! Milo, you're the only one left. Alright. This right side is in trouble, though, because they got all kinds- OH MY GODS! That's not good at all. This is gonna get ugly real fast now. Okay. So now all these assholes are shielded. This guy's gonna come in here and probably kill somebody. Who's he hitting? OH MY GOD! No! That sucks. Oh, gods. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Cool. Oh, so many pods. Is that all you got, bitch? All right. So, at least nobody panicked. All right. Come over here. On the move. Take care of that. Hostile terminated. Toss me some ammo. Ian, we'll come back here. Affirmative. And he will stabilize me. That's a what? That wasn't a dat whatever. Fuck you. Uh, 
All right. Oh, you're not out yet. Shit. In that case... Shit. do this again and then no can't can't do it just a hair too far away huh all right, well then, we'll just take care of you. Three pistol shots later, and you're dead. Impressed yet? Nice. You're still going to distract them. That's enough for me for now. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. See what happens here. I don't think I'll hit him, but I might make him run at least. Uh, no, I won't even do that. And I won't even. God damn it. Oh, shit. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Sure, let's do that. And I'll at least make him run off and get more cover, maybe. Yep, and takes away the shield. And you... Let's try that. God damn it, Jay! All right. We oh, nice! Oh. Under fire. How the fuck? Whatever. Hmm. Did you really think that was gonna work? Ah, shit. I love that they're worrying so much about this turret. That's awesome.
All right. We might not be going after the uh, black site as soon as I thought, because I think I'm gonna have a lot of injuries after this. After this one. Moving to position. What? Man, you guys are having some really weird line of sight advantages here. Yeah, get fucked. All right. Target neutralized. Negative ammo. I'm spent. I need to stabilize him. And let's see here. Fuck it, let's try it. Eh, I didn't think so. Oh! -ho! Oh! This turret is fucking clutch! I don't think healing him would have any effect, actually. Go heal. I don't want to blow up the fucking supplies! <sighs> but right now, get this loot and then jump back into cover. Did I just blow that thing up? Good. Negative damage. Oh shit. This thing is just about dead, but it has tanked so much damage from these guys that I cannot even be upset. There it goes. Seriously, that turret killed, what, three enemies? So clutch. Using the supplies as cover, you cheap bitches. Ooh, I've got flank potential on you. Oh, shit. God damn it, Milo! Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, hell.
Ian, let's throw out another heal. Nope, not him. I wonder what happens if I heal the down guy. This is not the kind of fight where I want to test out new theories. I've got way too much on the line right now. Well, there's... Oh my god, are you serious? Are you kidding me right now, Milo? Man, I should lay off the Prozac. <laughs> oh shit, that sucks so much. Nice. Um, yeah, run back for now. Yep, that's better. Get him, Gubbins, get him! Oh, you got the four. Nice. Okay. Reload. And then... Overwatch. Oh, I forgot that you were still alive. Here comes the big son of a bitch. Oh, I've got flank potential. You missed me, bitch. You can't hurt me. Okay, did I see somebody go on Overwatch? Look out, brother! Boy, am I glad I didn't stand there. God damn it. That's a problem. Reload and jump down here for now. Moving out. Cause that fire is gonna spread and it's gonna continue to be a bitch. Alright. Let's take the easy shot here. Get out. Whew! Okay, so we're bringing this back. There is no cover to be had over here. It has all been destroyed. Partially thanks to me. Alright, let's see here. Can we do this? Oh, forgot about the Overwatch! I need to pay more attention! There we go. 
Gate Crasher sends in the grenades. see here. Damn. Just you two, huh? Aid protocol on. You're the only one out of cover right or in soft cover so send you aid protocol and you will fire on you know now uh, all right let's uh let, yeah let's just do that fewer targets or fewer targets Oh, I do know that was good, Gubbins. Good copy. Moving on target. All right. Snack is doing snack things. Woo! Incoming fire. Actually, she's in low cover too, but I have less to fear here, I think. Oh, oh. I see what's happening here. I know exactly what's coming up now. Let's do this. Nice. Alrighty then. Shields are down. It's time to go. Time to go hard. Time to go loud. Utah and Centurion. If you're not aware of this guy, this is the enemy that the Long War Studios added in because they hate players everywhere. Um, do, 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 do. He's on Overwatch. Not anymore. Take him out. Drop the hailstone. Can't stay there because you're gonna grenade me. Closing on target position now. We're green to go. Man, that armor hurts. Deflection. Okay. Fuck you, Snack. Oh, reload and reload and what? Woof! Watch it, Ian. 
He's gunning for you. I may not be able to aim right now, but I don't need to. Here, catch. I'll take it. Oh, there it goes Jay bringing it home Gubbins Yo Oh, you bastard! You are Stop slippery. And die. The things you see when you haven't got any ammo. Ian! Oh! Dodge all you want, you little shit! Target disabled. Whew! Status confirmed. Wow, that was uh. That was intense. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All these motherfuckers jumping on me all at once. I gotta go check some stats here. I wonder if this red fog thing is bugged and it keeps applying afterwards. Otherwise, I don't know why my hit chances are so low. For some of my soldiers, anyway. Or maybe with the uh, hidden potential thing, maybe they're just getting really shitty stat rolls. Which would be unfortunate. Regardless, everyone did fine. Yeah! <laughs> the turret is in there as one of the MVPs. I think that's the most damage taken. Most under fire. <laughs> Dude, without that turret, I don't think I would have got through that nearly as well as I did. So much, so many shots tanked. It killed three enemies. I mean, that was amazing. And back to HQ we go. Alright, so. I have a feeling that next episode we will be taking on the Black Site. So tune in for that. That's going to be a fun and exciting mission, I think. I'm certainly impressed, Commander. Another heroic effort in the field. Jay manages to keep his kill death... Manages to keep his kills permission above three, or three, at least. Aid protocol now grants covering fire. Ian uses aid protocol a lot, so let's give him threat assessment. It grants covering fire, which covering fire over here, you can now you get a uh, Overwatch shot on any enemy action, not just movement. So 
Thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks for watching my guy get his ass kicked again. This dude spends so much time in the infirmary and on the ground. But anyway, it was a good mission nonetheless. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and we got to see the Muton Centurion hitting the field. Those things are fucking terrifying, as you can see. Three armor, all that health. They give bonuses to their to their nearby squad mates. Oh. Uh, okay, anyway, we're going to call that one a video. Thanks for stopping in. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, stop back in again next time to find out what would Zig do in XCOM 2.